I'm going to show you how I put up a temporary fence while I do some construction on my home, some siding. The fence I have right now are two pieces of vertical siding. That one and that one. I use two chain link gates, that one and that one. That's about six feet tall, that's five feet. I'm going to show you how I got that pole in the ground for this temporary fence. You don't need to concrete it in for this to work. Then after your construction's done or whatever you need, you pull it out and you don't have to deal with concrete. Here's how I did it. I used this EMT pipe, metal pipe, it's about three feet long, to dig the hole for that chain link fence post. That post is seven feet tall. I wet this area and let it sit overnight. You want to make sure that the soil is moist. Then I used the pipe, a piece of wood, and a mini sledge to knock this pipe into the ground. You want to go in about an inch at a time. If you hit that pipe with this mini sledge up at the top, you can do it, but you'll damage the pipe, and I want to reuse that at some point. That's why I use this block of wood to do that. You take out a little bit of dirt at a time, a plug of dirt. You can see all those right there that I took out. When you drive this pipe into that dirt, you want to make sure it's as plumb as you possibly can. If you get this pipe off at an angle in that dirt, the hole just gets bigger and bigger. This works because you keep the hole that a post, say for example, say for example, this chain link fence post will go into. This only works because you keep that hole in the dirt small, as small as you can to accommodate the post you're putting in. So first I use this pipe. After I had the hole at 16 inches, I used the chain link fence post and drove it in to clean off the edges of the dirt and widen the hole just a little bit, made it easier. When you have the dirt plug at the bottom of this post, I used a piece of this concrete to knock the pipe on and then the dirt plugs would fall out. This chain link post is driven in about 16 inches. If the hole is then too wide or you want to tighten that post up, you use these little pieces of wood to drive in and take up that gap to tighten that post or some little pebbles, rocks, whatever you have. Now this post is strong enough to hold up this gate and this gate. On this side, I'm going to take some zip ties and tie this fence off, hold it to that post around that nail right there because I've got a strong south wind. At the bottom here, I'm going to do the same thing. Now I need to put something in the ground for that gate latch to go to. And what I'm going to use is this pipe. It's chain link fence top rail. I'm going to use a piece of ABS or PVC that I have that's a little bit larger. And I'm going to drive it in the ground right about there. I'm going to leave that pipe there. The ABS or PVC, whatever I have, I'm going to drive in. It may be a little piece of EMT metal I have too. Again, it's just a temporary fence and gate, y'all. What that will allow me to do with a piece of pipe in the ground over there is put that pole within that pipe when I'm not doing construction and latch that gate to it. When I'm doing construction, I can take the pole out and it's not in my way. This EMT pipe is ideal for making the hole in the ground because the walls of the pipe are thin. If you use ABS or PVC, that'll work too, but you have to chamfer or bevel the edges here so they're sharper because the walls of the ABS and PVC are thicker. So if you use ABS or PVC or a thick walled pipe, bevel the edges with a file and it'll drive into the ground just fine. So what I'm doing right now is wetting the soil to drive in the pipe that will hold that pipe. I use this cottage cheese container because I can't get water over here. Poked holes in the bottom of it with an ice pick. I have a little bucket of water that I pour into this cottage cheese container and it slowly drips out and it will moisten the soil for me. If you do this by a house, like I'm doing here, you have to be aware that you have a footing, concrete, that you have to avoid and not hit with that pipe.
I'm going to leave it up this high so I can get it out easily. It doesn't interfere with me doing my siding job. And then my chain link fence rail will go right inside this pipe. The pipe is a little loose, so I'm going to use this wood and drive it into the ground around that pipe to tighten it up. Tied it off with zip ties, bottom, top, sunshade fabric on the gates, held on with clothespins, and office clips. That's how I make a temporary fence. Hope it helps, and happy DIY.